Who's right here? He's acting like he's blind. So I kind of just came in from the gym. Well, I got back in like 30 minutes ago. Um, I just finished making breakfast. Well, not breakfast, lunch. <laughs> I made avocado toast. Um, so I'm about to eat that. Well, let me put away this avocado. Do you guys make avocado toast? Do you use the whole avocado or do you use half of the avocado. I usually use half, and these are the Haas avocados, and these are bigger, so. Damn, it's almost not fitting. It usually fits that way. Yes, yeah, so I just um, got in from the gym. It's really not fitting. And I wanted to save the seed in there. I'm gonna have to take it out. Do you guys know you can do this to take the seed out? Look. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That simple. We have a perfect avocado. Avocados make me happy. But yeah, so I'm about to eat my avocado toast. I swear I make the best avocado toast. Um, I made it on a English muffin today, and then I also put mayo on there after I toasted, and then I add um, pepper jack cheese a fried egg on each um, piece of toast. And then on top of that, I put my avocado, a little pepper on the avocado, and then I put crushed pepper on the avocado as well to top it off. And it is so freaking good, so good. But um, I had one to the store yesterday and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. And there's a huge fly in here that is harassing me, but I'm trying to let it, well, I left the balcony door open so I can go back outside and then I'm gonna close it, but this is gonna really bother me because I hate flies. And then a huge beetle tried to come in. Like, I almost ran in the room and closed the door because it was so big. And I think it's beetles. Aren't beetles blind so that, I mean, they're blind so they can't see you, so like, they might just fly into you and that creeps me out. Like, ah, the fly is right there. I don't know what kind of fly this is. Like maybe it's a bee or something, but it's black. Oh, uh, it's right here. He's acting like he's blind. I just wanted to leave so I can close the door. Cause I do not like flies. They're so dirty. Oh, okay, whatever. So yesterday I had ended up going to, I, where did I, what store was that? I went to Burlington and I went to Home Goods. And that was it. Um, I was looking for more pillows to go on the accent chairs in the living room. And then, uh, what else was I looking for? Still a picture on the wall. So I found a, is that, no. What are these little, this makes me not want to have that door open. Cause like, well, why are these bugs even up so high? Shouldn't flies be like down, down on the ground? Cause they like poop. There's no poop up here. So, but, um, I did find a picture at home goods, but like I didn't get it. But I think I'm going to go back for it. Cause the colors are pretty much spot on. And then I found one that was perfect, like perfect colors at Burlington, but it was too small. But it would have been fine if I would have gotten two, but they only had one, so I couldn't get it. But the one at um, Home Goods, it was pretty much the colors I'm looking for, like to match with um, the pillows and everything that are in the living room. It would have matched. It was two hundred dollars, and I'm like, that's really nothing. But I don't know. So whenever I go back to Home Goods, if they still have it, I'm gonna just get it because like why not it's worth it and it was pretty huge i have found this picture here it has the moet like bottle on it and it has like glitter and it's 
pink or mauve or whatever in, in uh, gold glitter. This is definitely not my style. Like, I would never... Like, no offense to anyone who has, like, this kind of stuff hanging in their house or bedroom. Anywhere in your house. This isn't really my style. Like, I would never just, like, hang something like this on my wall. But um, I thought it was cute to put on the shelf on one of the racks on the bar cart. That's why I got it. Because it matches with that. Um, I might take it back. Because, like I said, this isn't really my style. It's super pretty, though. To go on the bar cart. But I would not hang that on the wall. One of these little baby feeders. It's the thing where you can put the uh, fruit in here. And he doesn't actually eat the fruit. It's more of like the juice of the fruit that comes out. So I did want to try this with him. It does say six months and older. He's three months right now. But um, I may try this now. I'm not for sure. Um, I think I'm going to try it with like a strawberry. And see how he reacts to it. Or if it's like way too much for him then I'm not going to give it to him until he gets like a little bit older. And then they also have this thing, which I thought was really cool. It's a formula dispenser. And it's crazy because I was thinking about this before and I was like, I wonder if they have make something like this. And I came across it in Burlington. So this keeps um, three different, it keeps three separate portions and it holds the most nine ounces. So nine ounces in each thing. And this will be easier than me carrying his uh small case of formula and then i also got i got this little mini chopper i've been needing one of these it was only 9.99 my mom had one and she came over here one day when we were cooking and i really liked the way it like chopped up like the veggies and everything i think we had made a uh, dip so we were chopping up like jalapenos and peppers and things it wasn't the same exact brand but i'm hoping this one does work oh and then i also got these i don't know if you guys can see me I got these gym shorts from Burlington as well. I've been wanting some of these. Can you guys see me? I hope you can, because I'm doing the most right now. But um, I've been wanting some shorts because it's been extremely hot and in the gym. I don't know why lately it's like they haven't had the AC on at all. Um, but I wanted shorts, but I don't like booty booty shorts. So these biker length shorts were perfect and they have the scrunch, but $6.99 at Burlington. Like what? And then I found the scrunch butt leggings as well. I have the scrunch butt one piece body suits or jumpsuits, but I just wanted leggings. You guys, <coughs> I was so shocked when I found these. It was a two set, two piece set. You get two leggings and these were $12.99. They're not that cheap on Amazon, I don't think. I haven't checked recently, but this will not be $12.99 for two. Like I got both of these for $12.99. So this was a major steal. I said I was gonna go back and see if they had um, other cute active wear. And I actually found these in the junior section. I was looking for them in the women's section, but they only have like larges and things like that. I for sure can't fit a large and then I'm super skinny right now. So I for sure <laughs> was not gonna fit anywhere in a large. But these are um, a size small in the junior section and then the shorts are size small as well and it fits like a regular women's small so i don't understand what a small and a junior and a regular woman's supposed to be because it literally fits me like any of my small clothes fit i love finding like cleaning products and home goods this one is the stainless steel cleaner and polisher gonna use this on the fridge and like the um dishwasher and things like that and then this one is the cooktop daily cleaner and it's supposed to um, remove the grease and oil residue. If you guys have an electric stove, you know it's so hard to clean that once you get like food stuck on there. Or if the top is still hot and if you set something on there, it's almost as if it melted on there and it does not come off. Like it never wants to come off. And when I clean, I clean. Like I literally scrub. Nothing comes off of that thing. Like I have a stain on here. I actually just did this this morning. This white was from like, does not want to come off. But this here, I don't know how this one got here. Like, I don't remember setting anything up there, but that's been there for like over a month and that would not come off. So I'm gonna try this out and see if this works. But yeah, if you guys haven't like looked at home goods, like little cleaning section, they always, like they randomly have this stuff, but when they do, it's cheaper than what you'll find it for in any other store. And then I got Maddox, this pack of bibs. 
since he's eating <coughs> literally everything I bought him is for him to eat with. My baby's so fat. But um, I got him these silicone bibs just to save the mess. Like every time I used to think about having kids, I would say, oh, I don't want to have kids because I don't like seeing kids eat. Like it grosses me out. And then just the thought of having to clean that stuff up, like it literally grossed me out. He's my son, but it grosses me out. Um, so when I feed him, I try and be like as neat and like clean as possible so that in the end I don't have to clean up that mess. But these are going to have, these are going to save me like some of the mess because it literally catches the food in this little pocket and it's silicone. So it's going to be easy for me to just rinse it off and go on with my day. But this one says more please. This one says foodie. And then this one says, oh, I thought it was ripped, but there's a mark on here. I didn't see that when we're in the store. But this one says yum. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so I got these from Home Goods, and then last but not least, I'm kind of over the whole setup on that coffee table. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I really like it. I have like three um, glass vases sitting on there, and they're actually. Um, candle holders like the little tea light candles go in there but I didn't like it with the candles in there but I'm kind of over that and I'm kind of over the glass but I went ahead and bought more glass even though I'm over glass that doesn't really make sense but I came across this and I just thought it was so cute it's which way does it sit wait there was a side that it was like flat so you knew okay I don't remember which side is the bottom but it's like knotted and it's glass and it had this color they had black and then they had like a gray so i was kind of stuck between this one and the gray one so i'm going to try this out and see what this one looks like on there but i'm just not liking like i don't know i kind of want to change what's on the um coffee table like i'm not my thing is like if anyone else sees it like comes in here they're not going to think it looks ugly or maybe shit i don't know but to me it's like once i see something every single day i get tired of it when it's mine like if it's someone else's i will not care but when it's mine like i just get annoyed and like <clears throat> this is just boring to me and i am tired of these like they're pretty i don't know if you guys can see but they look like the glass is like shattered on the bottom and then it's just like plain up top. They're pretty, but I think I'm tired of seeing them. But I wanted this to go somewhere. Which way does it sit? There's a bottom, but oh, I think that's, is that the bottom? I don't know. So like I have a candle. I'm for sure gonna keep a candle in there. Coasters may possibly move these because i do want to get another side table to go over here um so i want to keep the lighter there too but then i was thinking about maybe adding like coffee table books maybe no that looks dumb there okay and then this is the couch that was so rude of them <laughs> this is the couch currently I added uh, the two gold pillows and then I have the two mauve colored and the uh, mauve colored throw blanket this is the living room currently oh I need to try that picture out on the bar as well that's what we're gonna do I wasn't for sure if it was gonna fit either but Like, I don't know if I should put it on the top or the bottom, but I'm thinking the bottom. And then also all of this liquor that's sitting here, I'm not gonna, oh yeah, it fits. So I'm not gonna leave all that liquor there. It's, I mean, it's a bar cart, if <laughs> that's what it's for. But all of this other stuff, like that's not gonna stay there. I need to clear out a cabinet to put like extra liquor in there but i think i'm going to just put like you know my cute bottles of wine like this the rose and stuff because it actually matches the things in the living room but i'll probably keep this type of stuff up here and um the picture and maybe add like wine glasses or champagne glasses here but other than that i'm going to keep it clean and like so i'm going to take all of these like the liquor bottles and stuff like that off of there 
and of course my camera equipment that I don't even know why that's there um but yeah I don't think I'm doing anything else today I literally feel like every time I talk to you guys I am doing a haul or <clears throat> something like I do the same thing every day which I do oh and then Maddox also got a new swing yesterday so bought that yesterday as well we bought that swing yesterday as well which is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm upset because <laughs> it's taking up more space in the living room. And I should have waited to put it together because he left last night with my mom. So it's like, why did I put it together? He's not even here to use it yet. It could have still been tucked away in a box somewhere. But um, I put it there and I don't know if you guys can tell, but underneath the swing, like this is a swing, this whole big thing. But down there, that's a whole nother little bouncy chair. And then back there, the colorful thing, that's a whole nother separate little tummy time toy. So I am literally doing whatever I can to hide things. So I just stuck everything under there just to hide it. And then he has another little rocking chair type of thing that he sits in. But, uh, well, my mom bought it and it was to stay at her house, but he liked it so much. So we would actually bring it here every time. Well, it started staying here. So every time he goes to her house, he'll take it back with her. But I told her she can keep it now since he has this big swing and hopefully he likes this. And, um, but I think he will cause it sits up way higher from the ground and it does all this other stuff. So hopefully he likes it. But um, my head is itching. Yeah, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna go and shower and then I need to work on a video. I need to edit I'm gonna no, I don't think I'm gonna film today because I'm tired. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna film today. So this might be the end of today. If it is, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys, I was literally this close to cutting my hair. So you guys saw I had that, um, the braided ponytail. Um, when LJ did my hair, I took three packs of hair so he put those I believe he used in the entire three packs and I took three packs because I wanted the braid longer but he said since my hair is so thick he used the three packs because he needed three packs to make it the braid thicker because my hair is so you guys see my hair um but I, it was so heavy I had to take that braid out um but it's been like a week since I last picked up the camera so much has gone on and I'll update you guys on that a little bit later in this vlog but terry's on her way here now to come and braid my hair i just wanted some simple french braids i'm not the type of girl that can sit in a chair for hours and get braids it's just not me it will never be me um so i'm hoping that she does them how i like them i do not like my braids too small but i still don't want them too big either um but yeah so i washed my hair i took it down washed it yesterday and then i um let it air dry and then i just detangled it today so she's on her way here um she's supposed to have did it last night i haven't been doing too well so i wasn't able to get it done last night and then um yeah we were supposed to, she's supposed to have did it earlier today and i kept falling asleep but she's on her way now to come and do it um but yeah like i said i'll fill you guys in on everything else if not tonight then tomorrow but you guys this is so much freaking hair <laughs> like i want to cut it so bad let me know if i should cut my hair again because this is just way too much hair too much and i hate doing my hair hate it good morning you guys so i literally just woke up well i didn't just wake up i been awake. I actually woke up like around 3 a.m. Um, so I pretty much haven't gotten any sleep because I went to bed around 1 a.m. I believe and then I woke up around 3 going on 4 a.m. So yeah I haven't really slept um, but I haven't I'm not tired because I haven't really been sleeping much anyways um, and if I do I usually sleep during the day which isn't good um, but yeah and I'm not tired like I said so I just woke up I've been trying to get my day started early rather than staying in bed and then getting it started started later. I'm trying to put myself on a schedule. You guys know I have a baby so that is somewhat hard and I'm kind of working around his schedule 
and i realized i don't think i actually made a proper intro to this video um i just went back to look at the previous footage i filmed um for this vlog and i don't think i actually even like introduce myself or anything so if you guys are new to my channel my name is shamir um if you do like my content make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and go check out some of my other videos um but yeah so i am up just watching some youtube videos uh i've been doing this for the past few hours my body is just going through a lot right now and i believe that's why i'm also not getting that much sleep either like you guys it's been a struggle and i told you guys last night that i was going to update you so i will update you guys more on what i've been going through a little bit later um but terry did come and braid my hair last night i just wanted some simple french braids like some straight back braids um because i don't really go anywhere and i honestly just waste money on getting my hair done because i don't really go outside the house with maddox um still being a baby even though he did get his shots I just don't take him out much like yeah well you know be in the neighborhood and things like that but i honestly don't go out to where i should be constantly paying so much money to get my hair done so well i did pay her to braid my hair but i'm not paying for like sew-ins and all that and frontals and things right um like that right now so she did braid my hair last night i totally forgot to film any of it um what else was i gonna tell you guys so yeah i am trying to get my day started right now i do have a few things to do a few errands to run later on in the day um and i'm also gonna head to the gym in a little bit first things first i need to pump because these things are full and heavy and my chest is so sore right now and then i am going to make myself a pre-workout meal um i did want to try i don't know what year i've been in but you guys i've never tried the whole almond butter on top of the um, rice cake thing where have i been i guess i've been living on under a rock but i want to try that today um uh, i haven't for some reason after i had maddox i haven't been able to like really eat sweets and i'm kind of scared it may be too sweet but i want to try it today so that's what i'm gonna do um that's what i'm gonna have for my pre-workout snack but first i'm gonna pump and get myself together so i just finished pumping i did about this is almost five ounces and Maddox will be home either tonight or tomorrow uh, afternoon. So I'm not going to freeze this. I'm just going to stick it in the fridge because he's going to drink it when he gets home. So here goes our rice cake with almond butter. I did buy the Justin's uh, classic almond butter. I know they have different flavors. This is the classic one. If I don't like this one, then maybe I'll try one of the other flavors. Um, but I did have, these were the only rice cakes I had. I bought these a while ago, but not with the intentions of making this. So I'm not too sure how it would taste because these are the apple cinnamon flavor. But yeah, so that's an apple cinnamon flavored rice cake. I have the almond butter. I used about half of a banana and I put honey on top and then also sprinkled chia seeds on top as well. Okay, I'm really hoping that I like this because it seems like it will be good, but it may just be too sweet for me. I don't really taste anything but banana and I like that because I don't feel like I'm eating I felt like I thought I was gonna feel like I was gonna be eating like I don't know just something not healthy but it actually tastes like banana I like it I am just gonna have one because I'm gonna come in and make breakfast after the gym. So this is just gonna be my pre-workout meal. And then when I get back, I'll make my full breakfast. 
So a few days ago, I did receive some super cute activewear from this brand called Piece of Shamari. She was sweet enough to send me like some of the cutest sets, you guys. I do not have to shop for any new activewear for a while. So I think I'm actually gonna wear this pink set here. And I'm so happy she sent me shorts because you guys know I've been looking for short sets lately. And I like these because they're not too short, like too, too short. They're the perfect length. I haven't tried anything on yet, but based on the texture of the um, shorts, I believe they're gonna be squat proof. I'm hoping they're squat proof. I will update you guys if they are, if they aren't. So the brand is called Piece of Shamari. You can find her on Instagram. There you go, that's the business card. Um, and it is a small black owned business. You guys know we're always in the mood to support a black business as opposed to shopping on Amazon or like Gymshark, those other type of brands for your activewear. Definitely check her out. These sets are so cute and I'm so happy that she sent them to me. So this is what the set looks like on. I did get it in a size small, but I would highly recommend sizing up because the compression on here is amazing. Like it's on point but it is like super tight. Um, I mean, I don't have a problem with it being tight up here, like in my midsection, but on my thighs, it is a bit tighter. So I could have sized up to a medium and it would have still fit me pretty well. But yeah, this is it in a pink color. I believe I got all of the sets um, in a size small as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure the blue would fit the same as this pink one. I'm not for sure about any of the other things that were sent to me because I haven't tried those on yet. But if you guys do get either of, um, if you do get this set, just make sure you do size up. I'll also have a discount code on the screen or down in the description box for you guys. I am about to head to the gym. I'm just gonna take my pre-workout. I have been taking the Alani new pre-workout. This one here it is so freaking good, you guys. I love this stuff. This is in the flavor rainbow candy and it literally tastes like candy, like, uh, what are those things called? Like the um, the sour sugar straws. It tastes like that and like mixed with like Skittles or something. So if I'm not taking this one, then I'll take C4, which is one of my other faves. So I'm gonna grab my water bottle and refill it for the day. It's currently 8.57 and I'm pretty much on track with my day because I wanted to make it to the gym by 9 a.m. So I'm, I'm on point with everything so far today. My Sweet Sweat belt. This is a color I've been using lately. This is their, not the latest release, but the one before the latest one. They actually just dropped a new collection, which um, I actually need to get one of the newer colors that just came out. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in trying Sweet Sweat, I'll leave a discount code for you guys. But yeah.
pretty good workout. I took a bit longer than I planned on taking, only because I was trying to um, film some of my workout and then I was trying to record some other content as well. So it kind of just took me a bit longer. Plus there were like quite a few people in the gym. I usually don't go at this time. So yeah, there were kind of too many people for me in there. Um, it's about five people, but that's too, too many for me. Five too many for me. Went on a package to be delivered yesterday and for some reason it was not delivered. And it says on a USPS website that they're sending it back to the sender. I called USPS yesterday and they told me that they hold on to packages for 24 hours before they send it back to the sender. Um, I'm pretty pissed because now I have to go out of my way and take time out of my day to go to the post office and pick up a package that was supposed to be delivered to me. Like it just makes no sense whatsoever. But I'm gonna call them and make sure the package is for sure there before I go so they don't waste my time. Call them back in about an hour maybe um but they were supposed to, i left my phone number with them they were supposed to call me back today but you know how that goes so i'm gonna um i need to upload some content to my instagram story and then i'm gonna make me a quick breakfast i'm sure by the time i finish my breakfast they should answer their phone um i'm just gonna make apple toast so i was finally able to get someone on the phone um, at the post office they finally found the package i don't know what was going on over there i guess the woman that i spoke to um yesterday she wasn't in today he found my package so i'm on my way to get it now because it's 1 p.m now and they close at 5 p.m so i'm just gonna go and get it out the way um so i'm about to head out right now i didn't shower yet i'm gonna shower when i get back I'm picking up a package that was sent back yeah. to you guys. Um, it was supposed to have been delivered to me yesterday, but okay. they didn't deliver it. Also, let me have your ID. Okay. Did you get any notice of that? Um, well, when I tracked it, it said um, pretty much like, well, they said that the parcel locker at my apartment is too full and that they they were going to ship it, back, send it back to sender, but I called and you guys say you have it. I just talked to someone like 20 minutes ago. No, 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 no. Uh, what was it's your address? The main portal? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Anything else for you? Um, no, that's it. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. So I got my package. I'm not going to show you guys. I'm not going to show you guys everything that I got because I got this to uh, film a try on haul. That's why I was so persistent to make sure I got this package before they sent it back. Because I was going to just have to order everything all over again. And that was just going to prolong me actually doing a try on haul. So I'm not going to show you guys any of the clothes, I don't think, um, but I did get some accessories. Okay, it looks like stuff is missing. Um, I think there's supposed to be like 17 items, that's one, two. I got a few purses and then I got these gold hoop earrings. Do you want to focus or do you not want to focus? Focus. But yeah, I got these chunky gold hoop earrings and then I got two belly button rings. I needed new ones. Um, you can't really see it, but that's one and this is the other one. 
but I had needed um, a new one. I thought my belly button ring was actually gonna close, but it was still open after I had Maddox. So I put back my old belly button ring in, but it's old, <laughs> like I need to throw it away. The rhinestone even fell out of it. So I'm gonna put this one in, put in one of these new ones. This one's really cute. I'm gonna put this one in. It's super sparkly too. And if you guys are wondering where Maddox is, <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know, Maddox is with my mother. And it may seem like she always has him. It may seem like she has him more than I have him, but that's just because anytime, well, most of the time that I am vlogging, I'm vlogging when he's not home. And that's just because it's easier for me to vlog or like get things done when he's not here. So it just seems like he's never here, but I actually just pick up the camera when he's not here. I just thought about that today. I'm like, damn, people people might think I don't have my son. I have Maddox 24 seven all day long. I ha He's here with me. When he's not here with me, I am on the phone with him. Maddox gets upset when uh, my mom FaceTimes me and he can't speak to me or as soon as he sees the camera, like it's calling me, he gets excited, like he misses his mother. Um, but I mean, he's fine with my mom. He loves being with her. Um, but she did take him so that I can get some time to myself. I guess I'll just tell you guys what's going on. Well, what's been going on with me like the past couple of weeks. So the beginning of this vlog, when I had on like those turquoise um, shorts that I wore to the gym, maybe a few days after that, um, that part of the vlog, which was about a week and a half ago, I had to actually go to the hospital because I just wasn't feeling well. Like I was just feeling super weak and I knew something was wrong because earlier that day I almost, drop Maddox. I was trying to put him in a swing, but at the time it was, it wasn't funny, but I just thought like, oh, I just tripped or like, you know, I don't know. But as the day just went on, I was just constantly dizzy throughout the day. Um, just felt weak. Like I, it was just like, it was kind of like I was, that whole day was just a daze for me. Like when I think about it, I was just in a daze that entire day. Um, but then when nighttime came, I wasn't able to pick him up. Like I literally, physically could not pick him up like I was unable to pick him up and I started kind of like I started to panic because I mean it's just him and I here together and I don't know I, it just got really scary for me because I'm like what am I going to do you know I literally cannot pick him up I couldn't walk like everything just ached so um uh, my mom came I, cause I told her I called her I said you need to come now like I, I need to go to the hospital like something's wrong and she told me that when I called her she knew something was wrong by the way my face looked and then she was telling me afterwards like um a few days later okay so that night I went to the hospital uh that was a Tuesday night that I went to a hospital uh, the hospital and then I came back home about Wednesday afternoon from the hospital um but she took Maddox home with her on that Tuesday so that I can get some rest um pretty much the doctor said that i was dehydrated i was starved and i was exhausted so pretty much i'm going through postpartum fatigue that's what i'm dealing with right now well what i was dealing with kind of still but i feel 90, 99 percent better than how i felt before like when i was actually going through all that so uh, when i was at the hospital they did like run all you know all the tests they run ct scan they uh did the iv the fluid everything like that um i still felt like crap after that like i guess they were expecting for me to feel better i'm like no i still feel like shit so i did come home and i felt like shit for like a whole week my mom did keep maddox for i think about two days that time and he came back home and i still felt like shit so pretty much what my problem is is that I didn't really, I thought like, to, well to myself, I thought I was eating enough and I thought I was, you know, drinking enough. Let me make sure I drink water while I'm talking about drinking. But yeah, so I thought I was drinking, you know, enough water and everything, but in reality I wasn't, cause you guys have to think. I breastfeed Maddox. This boy, he's on my boob 24 seven. Like he's not letting up <laughs> and the way I think of it is like he's sucking the life out of me. That's how it feels. Like when I just 
some and now like after that happened to me i can literally feel as i'm breastfeeding him throughout the day my energy just gets lower and lower and lower like i have no energy like i can literally just feel everything just coming out of my body so and once I read up on postpartum fatigue, I actually found out that that's a reason why a lot of women stop breastfeeding because of that happening to them. And I really don't want to stop breastfeeding him yet. Um, it's that bond that I just want to keep with him for right now. And I don't really want him on formula 24 seven. There's nothing wrong, wrong with formula. And if you don't breastfeed, that's totally fine. But I do want to breastfeed him still. He's only three months old and I know how much like that you know that moment just you know if you're a woman you have kids you breastfeed you know so i don't want to stop that right now um but i'm literally just dropping weight um like i said i went to the i left the hospital wednesday when i was at the hospital um my weight was 136 when they weighed me and i weighed myself yesterday which was wednesday and so exactly a week I lost seven pounds. I went from, I mean, six pounds. I went from 136 to 130. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. So I just dropped weight like crazy. I wasn't having enough fluids. Um, I'm not eating enough. For women who are breastfeeding, you need to take in an extra, four, about an extra 400 calories a day. And I can tell you guys, I wasn't taking in nothing even close to, I need to take in about 2,500 a day just to maintain my weight, but I should be taking it an extra 400 because I am uh, nursing. So I wasn't even taking it anything close to 2,500. But in my mind, getting in one meal a day was fine because it was like I didn't have time to even get in two meals a day. I mean, I, that's just how I felt. But now I know like how important it is for me to make sure I am eating enough because if I don't take care of myself, I can't take care of my son. So, that's why um, today, well, the past few days, I've been trying to eat more. Um, it was still hard for me to eat because I was still very like drowsy and not really able to do anything. I was just stuck in bed. I really couldn't take care of myself. So I'm not gonna lie, I still wasn't eating anything after I came back from the hospital. Um, but once I started to feel better, more and more better, then you know I would be able to come. Like even trying to stand at the stove and cook something, I couldn't do it. Like I couldn't stand long enough to even cook eggs or stand long enough to go to the freezer and microwave something. Like it was terrible. Like I never want to feel like that ever again. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have to take care of me to be able to take care of him. I can't, if I don't eat, I can't feed him because I have to eat <laughs> and drink enough fluids to be able to, pro to provide breast milk for him. So if I don't do that, then how's my baby gonna eat? So uh, my mom did take him again um she came and got him maybe two nights ago uh yeah i think it was about two nights ago she came again to get him so i can just get more rest um and i do feel like i said i feel much better she says i look much better she told me my face was like sunken in and i just looked like i haven't eaten and i promise you guys when the doctor told me when he used the word starved i just wanted to cry because i'm like what but so yeah, right now I'm currently in the process of trying to gain my weight back, trying to get back on track with um, my fitness journey. I'm trying to gain weight. Isn't it funny? Most women are in the process of trying to lose weight after they have a kid and I'm trying to gain weight. Um, but we all have our own journey and this is my journey. And I did just wanna share that with you guys because you guys, I like, there's so much that goes on with having a baby and then just you know everything after the baby like you're just going through so many different emotions that you cannot control i'm trying to oh my god why am i crying that was like a scary night for me because maddox was literally screaming crying in the bed and i couldn't even pick him up and i couldn't even pick him up but i'm so happy that i'm fine and he's fine and I know, you know, my mom's always gonna be here for him if I can't, so. Okay, stop the tears. Um, I'm making sure that I do eat and I started um, tracking my calories again. I'm starting back to use um, my fitness pal to track all my meals to make sure I'm taking in enough calories 
a day. So my goal for right now is to take in 2,670 calories a day. And so far, it's barely even 150, you guys. So far, I've already taken in 1,036 calories. I'm so proud of myself. Um, and I only have 1,638 to go for the rest of the day. And I haven't even had lunch yet. I haven't even had like my little snacks in between. Um, and a lot of people don't know, but like working out actually builds up an appetite for some people. And it does that for me. So that's why I, and that's another reason why I love working out so much because it, it gives me more of an appetite and I want to eat and I have cravings for different foods. Um, I don't really get, I think, and I think that's probably why I haven't been eating much either is because I don't really have the time to work out as much as I used to. So I don't have that appetite. And I, you know, that's just another reason that I wasn't eating and every day is going on and then not eating, not eating. It just, I was fine with not eating. Like I, half the time, I don't even feel hungry. Like I would just let the day go. I would sometimes have my first meal, maybe at like 6 p.m. But now I just have to work on, you know, fitting in my, my meals more. And it's so easy, you guys, for you to tell a person, eat when the baby eats or sleep when the baby eats. It doesn't work that way. Like it's easy to tell a person that, but when it's you in that actual position and you have different things you have to do throughout the day, you don't get a chance to do, to get rest. You don't. And sleeping when the baby sleeps, Maddox is on, he just switched his whole little, <laughs> his whole sleeping pattern. Now he wakes up at 4 a.m. He wakes up between 4 or 5 a.m. now. I have no clue why. I don't know what he think he's missing or what's going on at that time, but he wakes up at that time ready to play. And I just get up and play with them. So do you think I want to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m.? No, I don't. But I have to do it because my baby wants to do it. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm happy I'm putting all this on camera, though, because this is going to help me stay on track. Like, for real, this is me getting back to the old me, a better version of me. Um, but let me stop with all this rambling. I just wanted you guys to know what was going on and I just promised to never let myself get to that position again. I will never let my health get like that again because it was it was really it was just really scary for me and my mom does not live close to me you guys so knowing I didn't have anyone like right here in this area to call and I didn't want to I can't take him in the hospital with me there were already Four people in the waiting room when I was going, when I was checking into the hospital, there were four people in there saying that they think they had COVID. Well, they made them wait outside the hospital, but checking in, it was about four people thinking they had COVID. And they did test, test me for COVID as well. Uh, my test came back negative. That's about my third or fourth time being tested in the past few months and all my tests have come back negative. And I didn't think I had COVID either, but just for precautions and me being in the hospital, they had to test me. But it was negative, but they did say I did have a, I had a fever as well. And motherhood type content on my channel, like that's something I really want to do. So, you know, I want to bring more moms on my channel. I want us to have more discussions about, you know, different things we're going through with our kids and just everything. Like I'm still new to this. Maddox is only three months. This is my first baby. Like you guys, it's hard. It's not hard, but it is hard. Like it really is. Late was on point with the delivery. I ordered Chipotle on Postmates. I literally placed the order and like 15 minutes later, the guy's like calling me, hey, I'm downstairs. I don't know how the hell they did that. Like my food doesn't even get here that fast when I go and pick it up myself. So how did he or they manage to get it to me this fast? I don't know. Clearly I'm not going out. Um, Yeah, I don't know, nothing just works out. I guess no one wants to go out tonight. Um, well, Terry didn't want to go to any places in the area and I was trying to stay in the area, so it's whatever. And then I was gonna go out by myself, but I was just uh, kind of just let time slide by um, too much. So yeah, I'm gonna stay in tonight. I'm gonna just kick back today and 
yeah it might be late watching some tv oh i may just make myself a margarita then since i'm not going out i'll just make myself a margarita and enjoy my thursday night in i get the sofritas which is their vegetarian meat and then i get almost everything else that they have besides like that queso cheese um and like lettuce i don't like lettuce in my chipotle bowl but yeah so that's my bowl these are the vibes for tonight staying in chilling relaxing getting some rest like the doctor ordered. Um, he didn't tell me to have a margarita though, but we're gonna have a margarita, just one. And this is what I'm gonna be watching tonight. Let me zoom in for you guys. So this is one of the uh, series my mom told me to watch. It's called Tell Me A Story. It started earlier today, but I wasn't paying attention. So I'm gonna just start from uh, season one, episode one again, and it's, Pretty much has almost five stars. It has four and a half stars. Pinky booty. Yeah. Why are you screaming? Look, mama have the camera on you. Hey you guys, just made some apple toast. So that's what I'm eating right now for breakfast. It's 1040. I've been awake since like 3.30 a.m. I seriously cannot sleep. Don't mind my edges, they're not laid right now. But um, yeah, I just can't sleep. I ended up watching like only one episode of that show that I told you guys about last night and it's actually not a scary show. I don't know what made me think that. Um, but it does seem like it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna probably watch more episodes today. Um, but I went to bed at like 11.30. Like I was so tired, but then I woke up at like it was either 3.30 or 4, I can't remember. But it's like once I wake up in the middle of the night, I just can't go back to sleep. And I think that's because Maddox has currently been waking up around that time. So I'm having breakfast right now. And I did plan on, I kind of wanted to go out to lunch or dinner tonight. Well, probably lunch. But Maddox is supposed to be coming home today. And I told my mom she could bring him this afternoon. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna go there because she is supposed to be bringing him but i think they're still sleeping because i text her and she hasn't responded back yet and then i'm sure if she is gonna come like in the afternoon time she's gonna want me to wait for her because she will want to go to today's friday i kind of don't want to go out because it is friday so like everyone's gonna be out and i kind of do want to go to the mall but the mall over here is always packed every store always has a line I don't know what's going on with Zara right now. Are people just now getting hip to Zara? Because Zara is constantly packed. It always has a line now. I'm just like, are you guys just now starting to shop there or what? Um, the Louis Vuitton store here is always has a line. The past two times I've gone in the um, last month or two, it's always been a line. I've always had to wait in the line. Um, so I honestly don't want to go. I mean, I do want to go to the mall, but I don't feel like being around people. And I'm sure they're going to be out because today is Friday. So this is today's outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Converse set that I actually bought um, last summer from the uh, Converse outlet. It's the Converse leggings. These are the sneakers. They're so freaking cute. Like, I love these. I hate when this happens. Like stay straight. I haven't had Converse since like junior high, but these are so cute. I couldn't walk out the store without these. Um, I actually wore the outfit once, but I never wore the shoes. So this is my first time wearing the shoes. And then it's um, this lightweight jacket. What do you call this material? Um, what is this called? I can't remember, but I mean, you guys see what it is and it's like netted down here on the back and it has the strings that you can like crop it even more which i really love so yeah just something well i'm out of breath um but yeah just something plain and simple to walk around in super cute i love outfits like this that are super cute and comfy and then i'm gonna just wear my um i just hate that these leggings aren't high-waisted like they come up high enough but like they move like they kind of go down as I move around but yeah um so yeah this is the outfit of the day 
and then I'm wearing my black YSL purse. This is the makeup of the day. The same simple, plain Jane beat that I've been doing the past couple months when I actually decide to put on makeup. Um, oh yeah, and I'm wearing the um, the chunky gold hoops from Shein that I just got in yesterday. But I'm waiting on my mom. She should be, all, she should almost be here. Um, I spoke to her like 40 minutes ago. She was packing up Maddox things so that they could be on their way here. Um, but I'm happy I didn't go to that to that little um, outdoor mall that I'll tell you guys about because she definitely wanted to go. My Shingy booty, giving him my my smile. I miss you, Shingies. I miss you, Shingies. What's in your stinky butts? What's your chunky butt? You got chunky butts? like not Bloomingdale's but like their Bloomingdale's version of Nordstrom Rack I guess. Let me just show you guys very quickly what I got. Maddox is sleeping so I gotta be quiet and fast. 
because he likes to sleep for 20 minutes. I got him this little Nike set. It's a little onesie and it has basketball shorts. This is so cute. And I got this in um, six months. And then I originally found these first. His first pair of Nike slides. I found these first and then I found the um, basketball shorts. And I was like, he has to have those. And these slides are in a size 4C. I don't really know what that means like in months, but he can fit them. He tried them on the, in the store and he can fit them. These are so cute. I found this super big candle. I've been wanting a candle to, to sit here on the island. Not really in this color. I want it a totally, something that would go like more with the decor, but this smells so good. It literally smells like a fine, black man, like a man whose chest you wanna lay on. That's what this smells like. Um, and this is Sand and Fog. That's the brand and the scent is Mahogany Teakwood. It smells so good. That's all I got from Nordstrom Rack and then I went to um, Saks Off Fifth. I didn't really see anything in there and I kinda knew I wasn't because I checked online like a week ago, just like browsing to see what they had, but I did end up getting a pair of sunglasses i got a pair of saint laurent glasses this is the pair that i got and i think they're so cute i really wanted them well they look good when i tried them on but i have no glasses like in this shape frame i usually go with like the big oversized frame with all my sunnies so i kind of wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and i like that the um ysl is in gold yeah, I think these just look so cute and just so like, I don't know, I just like them. They're cute. And I usually would not go for anything like this, but I feel like they really fit my face. So yeah, these were originally $395 and I got them for $149. So that was about 62% off. It says it on the on his tag. <laughs> <laughs> my math is good, but it's not that good. <laughs> and then I made my way to Trader Joe's. Oh my God, she packed this bag as, as much as she could. I wanted fresh flowers here on the island and they smell really good. Flowers usually stink to me, but these actually smell good. I got some fresh cut fruit, mangoes. So they had these, I don't know if these are, like have a certain season. I don't know if, well, a lot of people haven't really heard of these. Um, but they're called Rambutons, well, Rambutons, Rambutan, however you want to pronounce it. And there are these little spiky fruits. They look like this and they're so good. And then I got this Mexican style roasted corn. I like to use these to make um, like a Chipotle style veggie bowl. I plan on making these maybe tomorrow because I, I want a meal prep um, just for like lunch. So I told, I forgot how to make up and I'm all wiping my face. So I use that corn for my Mexican bowl. And then um, I just got the frozen chopped bell peppers, kale, salad kit, it's so good. Like it's one of my favorites from Trader Joe's. I always get these. I did pick up like a few new items, some first tries. So I heard about this, it's called the Magnifi sauce. These are supposed to be super good. Um, the girl at the checkout said it's pretty much supposed to be like, um, and then I'll secret sauce or special sauce or whatever. Pretty much a Thousand Island dressing. So I got that. And then I wanted to try the honey walnut shrimp. They had a shrimp fried rice. I've never tried this before either. I don't know if this is new or not, but I've never seen it in Trader Joe's. Definitely had to try the shrimp burgers that everyone's been talking about. Also, the ice cream sandwiches everyone's been talking about. Um, what else did I have? And then I did grab a bag of frozen blueberries. I used this chunky salsa in my bowl as well. Pinto beans for my bowl. And I love this um, four cheese and spinach pasta. These are super good when you need something to just throw in the microwave. I haven't had any, um, everything but the bagel seasoning for my avo toast. I, ha I don't know why, I, where, I should have some, but I don't have any. Um, and then I did get 
four shots. I got um, two of the no joke ginger shot. And then I got one of the cherry And the last flavor is Mighty Turmeric. I also got this bread here. This bread, if you haven't tried it, try it. I It's good by itself, but I like to eat it, um, like make a tuna melt with it. So that's my plan for this. And then I stopped by the dollar store because I wanted to get containers to meal prep with. I don't, plan on meal prepping everything, mainly just like lunch or dinner. Pretty much lunch, that's what I'm gonna meal prep to make sure that I do eat like in the middle of the day or like after the gym and things like that. So I did get this, um, how many is in here? This is 10 containers. So 10 containers and 10 lids. And I got this for $2.99. And I got just like plastic forks and spoons for when people are over. I got paper plates trash bags that I was running out of. Things that you guys pretty much don't care about. Just stuff I needed for around the house. And then I didn't know that Halle Berry had like an active wear brand. I found these at the dollar store. I needed gloves for the gym because I don't know what happened to all of mine. Um, and these were $2.99. The quality feels okay, but those things might get messed up in like a couple months. And then I also found some sunglasses for Maddox. I thought these were so cute. I can't wait to try them on him. So I got him this all black pair. And then I got him this pair as well, but I didn't know that the um, this was red, that the arm of the glasses were red, but they're still cute. I hope he actually wears them. Do you have your fist up at me, little boy? Huh? It's not play time, it's shimmy time. All right. It's shimmy time. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna call it a night and I tried to put my little um, bouquet together my flowers um, I, I need to cut them way shorter because I don't like the way they look so I'm gonna just do that tomorrow though Because I don't feel like doing that either. I'm really sleepy I'm hoping I sleep throughout the night and I'm hoping that Maddox sleeps throughout the night um, But if I don't I don't mind if he wakes up Well, no, I don't want him to wake up because if I wake up I could just start working on the stuff I said I was gonna do today that I didn't do. So I'm hoping this little boy goes to sheep and stays to sheep, right? You need to sleep to your normal time. His normal time that he usually wakes up in the morning is uh, about 9 a.m. So I'm hoping we could get back to that schedule because that was like a perfect schedule. He goes to sleep at 9 a.m. and I mean, he wakes up at 9 a.m. and goes down for his 11 a.m. nap. But he hasn't been doing that since he's been waking up between like 3 and 5 a.m. To change Maddox's diaper, um, change his shirt because he has ice cream on this one. And we're going to go to sleep because I am tired. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, you guys. Um, support my channel. Interact with me. Leave some comments. I'm really trying to uh, grow my channel this year. And um, the more I see that you guys are enjoying this content, the more content I will be motivated enough to upload. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog.